Welcome to another J Crazy News headlines on a special Tuesday night to those who are watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, I tell you, when it comes on to Jamaica, you can't expect anything less. You cannot be shocked at the evil occurrence and events that is happening in that country. You have seen where persons have gone missing. Families are hoping and praying that they have been found alive. But when a missing man or woman body has been found in Jamaica, normally or most times they are found dead. Either buried in a shallow grave or their body decomposed. And if you analyze, these things are now happening frequently in the parishes of Kingston and St. Andrew, St. Catherine and Clarendon, where persons are going missing and they are found dead. Now, missing man, Javon Baker, who is believed to be a call center worker. Now, he went missing on May 28th. And he was last seen along with his motor vehicle. Unfortunately, my viewers and my subscribers, his car was found in South Barrow, and his body was found in a fridge in Nagohead, Portmore, St. Catherine. Can you imagine this youth, this young man, was taken, abducted, or kidnapped, or set up? And he went missing. People are looking for him. Then put out missing flyer, missing profile, you name it. And now family and friends having to hear this sad news that their loved one was found murdered brutally and his body locked inside a fridge. Now you tell me what kind of evil is going on in Jamaica. Who are doing these things? Who are the persons who are taking pride and joy into committing these murders? Kidnapping these individuals, then taking their life. But you know what? A stranger cannot hurt you unless he's influenced by a so-called friend. Unless that stranger is giving information from that friend about you. I always say this, you know, in Jamaica, when you see persons be murdered or killed, most times, a them friend do it, them so-called friend do it, or them so-called friend set up men to take their three points. All because of bad man, envy, greed, you name it. Jamaicans have a huge problem when it comes down to crab in a barrel. As a matter of fact, the black race overall, crab in a barrel mentality. If them see with even a car tire, and the car tire look good, they won't kill you. Them see the hundred dollar, and the hundred dollar look good, they won't kill you. Them see with a new shirt, they won't kill you. And new shoes, they won't kill you. And the list goes on. Bad man, envy, jealousy is a major problem in Jamaica. And most times, are the people who you hang with are the ones who are responsible, in most cases, to set up men to take your three points. Now, Jevon Baker was viewed as a humble individual, never trouble a soul. Always had a smile and also was viewed as a joker, always giving jokes, ensuring that everyone would laugh. He was the only son for his parents. Now his father raised him alone, while his mother migrated. Jevon's father, them call him Bobby. Can you imagine them find your son murdered, locked, in a fridge 
What kind of wicked act is this? But I tell you, you know, that the hearts of many Jamaicans are cool, cold than even the ice in the freezer. Heights of wickedness in Jamaica, land that we are supposed to love. But we are destroyed by killing and taking one's life. Now we head towards Slipe Road in St. Andrew where on Monday morning two men were found in a gully with gunshot wounds. Now they have been ID'd by the police. Their names are 29 year old Akim Thomas, otherwise called JJ, of Lillister District in St. Mary, and also 17 year old Troy Dixon otherwise called Moja or Momo of Lincoln Avenue, Kingston 13. Reports are that on Monday morning, residents stumbled upon the body of two men. The police were summoned. On arrival, they found two men lying in a gully with multiple gunshot wounds. Now the two men were wearing ski masks. So it simply means that they were caught off guard by the ops or they went on a mission and they were killed by their friends or the enemies catch up to them, shoot them and dump them in the gully along Slipe Road. The 17 year old, based on information, they untalk to him and tell him to come out of bad influence or badness, but he never take the warning. So. He is no longer among the land of the living. These youths now here, them ears hard, them now hold no meds. Their aim, their motto, their mission is badness till them casket close. Now we head towards the garden district of White House, Westmoreland, where Garden District have been played with scamming feud and gang violence in the past. Now it starts up back. Three men were shot, two fatal, yesterday in Garden District of White House, Westmoreland. Now their names are 24 year old Santina Brown in the blue and also. 40 year old Carlington Walker in the white. They are both from the Garden District of White House, Westmoreland. Now, based on information, both Brown and Walker were standing along the roadway offering support to a friend whose wife recently passed away. When a grey Toyota Axio motor vehicle pulled up beside them, both Brown and Walker and a third man ran off. The gunmen gave chase and continued to fire. Unfortunately, Brown collapsed in front of a shop. Police were called to the scene and arrival. They found Santino Brown lying in a pool of blood. Brown received gunshot wounds to his neck, head, and chest. Mr. Walker received gunshot wounds to his chest. All three men was rushed to the hospital where both Walker and Brown was pronounced dead. The third man is hospital nursing gunshot wounds. He's also in serious condition. The third man received gunshot wounds to his right leg and also his abdomen. So far, there is no motive as to why this attack took place. Sad to say, both Walker and Brown lost their life. The police are investigating. Now, Transport Minister Dalvaz has placed a 12-month ban as of now on these apps, these transportation apps. 
like InDrive, Uber, and the list goes on. Now, drivers, you know what's your InDriver? I give the problem though. Yes, man, I InDriver give the problem. You could have leave Uber, you know, because other persons don't really have complaint about Uber. But InDrive is the major problem. I think InDrive is the one that should have been banned alone. But them always say you no, know, the good happy suffer for the bad. Now, the amount of persons who have made complaint to me about their experience taking or accessing the service of InDrive. One of the main reasons why many persons don't really use InDrive again and use Uber because InDrive have a system where you as a passenger request an InDrive cab. You get a picture of the person and the type of car, the color of the car. Let's say for example, a female driver supposed to come and pick you up with a Toyota Crown. When the cab come, it's a next cab with a man that has a AD wagon. Remember I told you that you know InDrive has a WhatsApp group where the drivers are in. And they will see the passengers picture and info and where they are headed or the pickup point. So that driver is requested. He calls the passenger and asks them where they are. The passenger gets the info on the driver's picture and the color of the car, license plate, you name it. And while that driver is on his way, the next driver a beat him to go pick up the passenger. So could it be that Daniel Anglin requested a certain driver and the convicted sex offender saw the information or also her picture and information and went to pick her up and R-A-P-E-D her, killed her and dumped her body in Salt River, Clarinda. Fitz Bailey, I see where you're acting. I must commend you. I also want to ask your favor again. Please do an investigation into all these taxi apps if they are being used by recruiters who are in the human trafficking ring. Because I got information by unknown sources stating that human traffickers are using these taxi services and hire drivers to look female victims and kidnap them. I've also got information that female passengers have been experiencing robberies by drivers who are gunmen criminal elements who are working for the InDrive company. So if it's barely Look into that for me, please, because the people of Jamaica need to be safe. The safety of Jamaicans is the first priority. Yeah man, I'm here as a black legend. I'm here represent for J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe, and share out the thing. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity man star movements are flow. J Crazy not play with him, I review the thing then. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity life star movements are flow. J Crazy not play with him, I review the thing then. We do the thing then, we do the thing then Check crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle We do the thing then, we do the thing then Check crazy